uh... Oh, let's, let's admit it. Let's admit it, alright. Australia sucks for not using Kelvin, just like America. Why are we not using Kelvin? Why are we, like, arbitrarily choosing water to test our gaming point? Our, our, sorry, gaming point. Yay, alright. Uh, I've got one more for the month. Oh my gosh. I'm so... My nose is itchy as well. It's just horrible. Summer sucks. Well, spring sucks. And... Nah, I hate it. I hate it. Everything everything sucks. <gasps> oh yeah. Dark Heart of Skyrim is over. Um, I've got my enchanter materials, which I shall delete. My... I just reached level 50 yesterday. Oh my gosh. Why is my nose so itchy? People didn't come in here to watch me pick my nose the entire time I freaking play. Mugglish. Mugglish. Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's not open either. I need to open my squad in the background. Ugh. Alright, pour off. <sighs> I should make a uh, decent um, augment lesson. Yeah, lesson. Uh, Stamina. Ooh. What is it? What about... What is this? St stamina regen. Alchemist power. Magicka regen health. Stamina regen. Reduce stamina cost of abilities. Oh. Okay, not, not exactly what I was thinking it was going to be, but... What about alchemist? Cooldown of potions? Okay. No. Oh, that's for jewelry. Huh. Reducing t spell and uh, physical resistance um, is pretty fucking based. Especially if I'm working in a group. Damn, that would be amazing. Minimum level 40. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna make one of those. And I'm gonna Uta. keep it. That's based. Oh. I need to find, um, like, a really good, um... A guide, maybe, for crafting stations. Set bonus crafting locations. Ooh. There's the Death Wind set, which... When you take melee damage while you're under 35% ha health, you knock people down. Spell damage, meh. Night Silence is pretty, pretty cool. Ashen Grip. Breathe fire to all enemies in front of you for 774 flame damage. Ooh. Adept Rider. Oh, moving movement speed. Poisons. <laughs> Healing. Magicka. Adds 1487, that's for a tank though. I need something. What, what's the best, um. Yes, or set. Bonus for DPS. Alright, we're looking at something. We're looking at this. We're doing, we're, we're, we're doing some, uh. Some, some deep research. 
<sighs> Alright, DPS that's uh, weapon damage, weapon critical, stamina critical. Okay, that's one of them. Oh, Stormfist. Stamina DPS. Stamina recovery. When you deal damage, 10% ten ten chance to create a stunned fist. Ooh. Briar Heart. Dealing critical damage has a 10% chance to increase your weapon damage. Ooh. Stamina and critical. I like that. It's a world drop. Ah. Commonly used monster set. Disease damage. Damn. Magicka. Ah, oh, okay. So these are all the... Um, stamina ones, but I think hunting, hunting range, rage is probably the best one that I can like get quite easily. So that'll be in the Rift Reapers, Mar Reapers March and uh, Bang Kurai. What is the best training gear is my question. Oh, I need to... I need a thing. Armor of the trainee set. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a heavy armor. What does the trainee do? It adds max health. Oh, okay. That's lame. Hold on. Let me finish, like, the grinding stuff. So I'm, I'm burning, um, I'm burning my experience scrolls. Yeah, potency improvement. So that's the lesson. So this one's gonna be, yeah, just gonna use them. But that looks cool. If I got five, you have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items there. So if I can make seven. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now, because I don't have any more um, of the, the the most epic one. Mm. In the meantime, let's just do this. Mm. Increase my enchanting. It's as low as you can go like that. Rude. Okay. Fuck it. Okay. It's just making my eyes dry. I'll get used to it, I guess. Hade, Marco, Denata. Ooh, I've got a uh, Rady. What's this one do? Marco, Denata. Deprive. Splendid Glyph of Absorbed Magicka. That's nice. Oh shit. Should be max. No 
معتاده دنی چه جوتا جوده دنی چه جوتا جور دنی چه جوتا جور دنی چه جوتا Alright, so first I just want to check my alchemy, cool blacksmithing, clothing is normal, enchanting, 3 out of 3, 3 out of 3, 4 out of 4, damn, okay, so next is at 40 I guess. It's just for the potency. The only thing I need to do for that is the potency um, improvement. That's that's pretty pretty sick. Ready, Marco, Recuta. Ora, Marco, Recuta. Doing the grand. Doing the grand. Hurade, Marco. Message. Jota. Just checking my messages. I'm getting notifications. Okay, cool. Oh well. <sighs> My hopes came went up because um, I noticed that there was um, a, there was a notification from the um, Rogue Tech uh, Discord, and I thought, "Ooh, Rogue Tech is updated!" But no, no, it hasn't yet. That's all right. It will update eventually. What I do want to do with my main character though is um, increase my blacksmithing and all of those so I can get better items. <laughs> Which is going to be tricky, but... Mm. Hey, crazy to funny. Welcome back. How are ya? Research times reduced by 10%. Oh, what else? Is this one dram of stamina? I need to make stamina. Here we go. Oh, yeah? How have you been? Where's the... where's the... Oh, oh there she is. 
Yeah. No, I, I, I feel that honestly. I really, I really do. Oh. Look at my dog. My dog is amazing. Give it a lick. He tastes just like rotting flesh. Am I okay? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just trying to get my life back on order. Um, I had to vacate my um, no, my flat um, to, and I'm living now with my brother and uh, his family, which is yay. But I'm further away from my boo, which is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but what are you gonna do? Sucks, but meh. Oh, real estate agents be shit, basically. Also, like life uh, sucks under capitalism. <laughs> oh yeah. Welcome, friend. Oh yeah. to do something worthwhile but yeah at least I got I got my um, my main up to level 50 so I've started uh, moving into champion point territory oh no that's that ain't good I was like so tempted to buy a bunch of stuff um, for on the steam sale because uh, fantasy grounds had uh, pirates of Drynax on 30% and that's like the lowest it's ever been 30 percent off um which if for those who don't real don't know fantasy grounds is a virtual um tabletop it it's a program which like you can basically buy modules of dungeons and dragons traveler and all of that all of those sort of games um and play it online with friends um all i need to do like i have the uh, game masters kit as well so no one else actually has to pay any money they just download the, the demo version um it's basically just like buying the books but digitally and also having a really cool um interface to work with problem is i want i want i want to play pirates of dranax which is like for travel for the traveler um rpg series is like a massive sandbox campaign sort of like curse of stride or something like that um but like bigger than curse of stride i think because uh, it's galactic and yeah I, I would love having that because i could just run a campaign quite easily <sighs> oh well Showing where you mod for celebrated a birthday one gift of ten cents by, by typing actually instead of one so your bank account oh no can like can 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 she um refund you those or damn that sucks ah I would like totally like um send back money honestly fifty subs I mean you definitely made a birthday. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Ooh, that would hurt.
Yeah. But I mean, like, I would... It, since I'm so small, if, like, someone did that to me accidentally, I'd, I'd be thinking, like, yeah, probably... At least gift sub back, you know? <laughs> I don't know, that, that's a tricky one. Damn. You saved the queen. Stars keep you safe, traveler. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Tales of Tribute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Sorry about, um, sorry, sorry, I, I'm distracted, um, some drama, um, important drama, not like dismissive drama, important drama just came up, uh, for a, uh, discord that I, uh, moderate. Skyler VT! Oh, thanks for the sub! Oh, it's it? No, it's a gifted sub! Woo! Sorry. I'm. Uh. Wait. Wait. Where's. What? Oh, Elder Scrolls is, um. Bringing. Overtaking the, uh, screenshot, uh, functionality that I've got. Ah! That was five. Hey! Oh my gosh, it was! Thanks for the five tier the gifted subs! Thank you! Ah! Crab dance. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Woo! Skylar VT. And, uh, oh, it, it just came up as, like, Skylar VT on my thing, but I, but I, I realized I just looked at that.
Du, 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 du. Okay. Yeah. Alright, sorted. Uh, for now, I'll have to sort that out later, but... Alright, back to it. Oh my gosh, what was I doing? I, I was gonna make something. I was gonna make a really cool sword. Uh, it's always funny, like, um, I can hear... I can hear my brother's kid, my, my brother's uh, kids, my uh, nephews. Um, sometimes um, they, they they think they're they're sneaky. Yeah, I'm always cheery. What? Except when I'm like reacting to like chuds online. Um. Oh, I should probably do one more thing. Uh, it'll get better, I'm sure. Um. I'm gonna have to exit out of, um... Oh my gosh! No, I need... I do need to, uh... <laughs> yeah! I just need to exit out of uh, Elder Scrolls Online so I can... What the hell is going on? Oh, Greenshot's not turned on. Why is Greenshot not turned on? Ha! <laughs> oh yeah. Greenshot. There we go, now I can do it. We will be back to normal stuff very shortly. Save as documents. I'm such a boomer. I have a folder. 
I have a folder of receipts. It's amazing. Oh, someone left. Okay. Always fun going through the uh, uh, random Gen Z's question. What is an underrated animation movie like for me? The Iron Drone is a uh, masterpiece, but underrated. Um, I don't know about um, movie, but for underrated um, anime. I guess, because that's what I used to watch when I was younger. Um, Trigun. Trigun um, is amazing. It's one of my favourite um, anime of all time. I mean, like, yeah, like, uh, just animation. Yeah, I did watch, I've watched, but, like, um, when it comes down to, like, um, Amer like, you know, just cartoon movies, there's not really much that I can think of that I've watched that's, that, that, that's, like, not pretty mainstream, really. Um, I guess Black Cauldron, maybe, is a bit, a little bit obscure, it was pretty good. Um... But yeah, most of the obscure stuff I would call more obscure would be anime, because I've watched some obscure-ass anime.
Oh, pardon me. Woo. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Afro Samurai was a good one. It was uh, directed by a uh, black guy as well. Oh my gosh, I need to uh, blow my nose. I'll be back. I always have to remember this now that I'm living around kids. In the back. Woo! No, no! I lost my nose. I lost my nose. <sighs> okay. Alright, where were we? Oh yes, the boring stuff. Stuff all of you want to watch. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's... Let's build the stuff that I need to build. Treasure Planet was good. Yeah, Treasure Planet was good. Oh, okay, okay, there is one. Um, Titan AE. I really loved that movie. Um, yeah. Primal. What does Primal look like? Oh. Argonian High Elf Breton Primal looks badass. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I guess. Like, it didn't, it, it really didn't do that well. Wait, why can't I craft this? Oh, my inventory is full. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, it's funny. Treasure Planet what did, really didn't have a good reception to it for it, and it was like their... And it's sad, because it was their dream as well. I need more skill points. Pretty soon.
anything else, but I do not have any space in my inventory to do anything, so that needs to be fixed. <clears throat> Uh, why did they have to call them champion points? The abbreviation for that is just way too... Mm. 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 Welcome to the... Huh. I wonder if there's anything else I can pick up. Welcome. Nope. Hmm. Well, originally, Tribe Naive was going to be in cinemas, but then they pulled it. Selling, buying, At least here in Australia. Great Master Detective was awesome. It was gay. I love it. It's kind of fucked up how the, um... That in the special features... Um... There's a lot of, um, whitewashing for, um, the Pinkertons. There's, like... Pro-Pinkerton messaging. And in the uh, special features of the Great Mouse Detective. Siri. What? Ooh, calcinium. I wonder if I've got... Ah, I do. I didn't. Uh, Great Mouse series. I didn't. I don't think it's a series. As far as I know. Alright. 
And we're making a greatsword. And we're making it a training greatsword. Ooh. I want to see what the primal looks like. <clears throat> oh yeah, improving it. <sighs> oh yeah, it's now epic. I have a hundred percent chance, okay. Ah, oh, ten percent chance. Nah, screw that. <laughs> you know the movement Strange World, one of the main characters is gay, that's a big risk. I appreciate how they treat it. it's like he's gay, that's all that's certain they don't milk it. For Disney that's a new thing, so a shot in the dark. Yeah, we'll see. Damn. Why is it why is it on fire? Is it supposed to be on fire? Mm. <laughs> Increases experience gained from kills by 8%. Because I can get, like, um, I can make enchantments, I think, that um, increase the. Um, the ability level, I think. Oh my gosh. Prince of Egypt, yeah. It's funny how, like, they went from Prince of Egypt all the way up to Shrek. Pretty sure it's the same studio. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. Okay. And thanks for joining. Thanks for the subs. Yeah, I hope you have a good day. I think that's alright. I think I've done every, everything I need to do with this character. Apart from level up. I should level him up. What is it? Here ye, card Where am I going? Collectors, test your I'm running the wrong direction. In a brand new card game, Tales of Tribute. Stay out of trouble. And then tomorrow, um, there's going to be the start of Fixmas, I think, for um, Satisfactory.
Hey, done randomly! I am well, how are you? <laughs> Pardon me. Da 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 the place, Claudina. The locals say Captain Agron disappeared from this very spot. It's locked. Oh. We must find a way inside. That's right, I was doing the Skyrim quests. It's powerful. Don't you think, Claudina? We are onto something. Oh, we sure are. Get ready with the whistle. Oh yeah, I saw I was watching Slow down, Phoebe. Be I was watching um Um uh, Bad Empanada um uh react to um Demon Mama. Someone who oh my gosh, what is with the music in this area? Holy moly, it is so loud. So and and I had to stop it. One of them is a therapist and she needs help the most. Do you want to Oh. Yeah, the therapists, ther people who become therapists tend to, like, do it because they don't want other people to go through the same same shit that they do. I know that's why I would become a therapist. I'd be a terrible therapist, though, because I talk too much. Hmm. Investigate. Why does the combat keep starting and ending? It's a cat! Oh. Ex-Mormon, yeah, friggin' Mormons. Why don't- why- okay, why does my- why do I keep on going into battle? Let me, I have done. Do, 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 ooh. Bookshelf. But yeah, um, and- and as soon as I saw the, like, Luna Oi pop up on screen, I'm just like, oh my gosh, another leftist creator is, like, attacking Luna Oi because they don't like Asian people. <sighs> yes. Specifically ones that aren't, like, weird sexual things. Including the fundies. But yeah, we can have a look at that. I need to find it though. Damn it, my 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 uh my uh algorithm is too is too leftist. Yeah, I am incredibly uh incredibly incredibly cringe. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Is this tragic? Oh no, I can't read the cringe comments. Alright, here we go, we found it, we found it. We found it. I don't know what the stuff is, but I'm gonna cover- I wanna cover this because I think it's important for uh, me as a white trans woman to push back against white trans women attacking um, minority creators for clout. <laughs> Because that's what I see this as, you know, it's just, it's like how everyone sh shits on uh, ContraPoints every now and then, because, like, she's the, she's the Twitter's favourite punching bag when it comes to trans women, or at least she was. Um, it's just like every time that ContraPoints, like, says anything, immediately you get, like, all these people just spewing hatred. And it's because she's a trans woman. 
Um, I just think it's fu it's fucking gross when people do the same thing to uh, Luna Oi because that's what it is. It's it's just being shit. Yeah, the Nick Nick Fuente stuff. Like I thought that was a joke, and then I'm like, oh okay, well, yep. Uh, did you see that? I I, I could always put on the Tim Pool one later, the Tim, Tim Pool interview. That, I think that was funny, from what I've heard. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at this. Let's do it! Let's do it! Hi, it's Luna. Welcome back to Luna Eye. Yay. Wait a second. Why is the, is the video, is the audio coming through or no? Okay, there it is. Yeah, it is. All right, let's do it. In Vietnam, the LGBTQ plus community has a long history- yeah, Damn, Demon Mama, even when you do nothing, drama starts. Gosh, these people are pathetic. Wait, di did you ever- have you ever seen Sam Cedar get- Cancelled for his impersonations of other people? Are we gonna cancel Chapo Trap House for when they did it? No one's ca- wait, who cancelled the, the majority of Port? As far as I know, they, they're still running. An impersonation of Ted Cruz or Chapo Trap House when they had an impersonator of, uh, Sebastian Gorka. It is I, Sebastian- Wait, does Demon Mama actually believe in cancel culture? Cringe. Sebastian Gorka. Let's see, let's find out. cultural expression. I, myself, am bisexual. And as I have discussed in previous videos, we have a vibrant culture of expression and activism here in Vietnam. At least 1.65 million people in Vietnam identify as LGBTQ+, including me. And we have had LGBTQ+, Cancel Hank in Pecker. Vietnam for hundreds of years. Let's to see. this day, never in the history of Vietnam have same-sex legal acts been criminalized in Vietnam. Is now that recently, true? Wait, is it true that same- No. This is this is some of the some of what I've seen already. Yeah, well, I mean, that's 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 where I stand as well. I do trust Luna Oi more because, you know, she hasn't... No one's ever actually been able to catch her out in a lie. They've only ever been able to twist the truth. Uh... Da -da -da. Uh... Sex, Same-sex sexual activity, I believe, never to have been criminalized in Vietnamese history. I know this is Wikipedia. Um... They've got pride. Conversion therapy ban. In 2022. Based. Conversion therapy ban. Nice. That's that, that's pretty pretty sweet. Yeah. Okay, summary table. Same sex sexual activity has always been legal. Equal age of consent, 16. Cringe. Always legal. Oh my gosh, this is the- This is the- Wait, this is the- The fucking- This is- That- That's- That- That was the site that they, uh- Fuck. Okay. Transgender rights. Alright, so, yeah. Recognition to uh, legalize uh, same-sex marriage. Remove the ban on same-sex marriage from the law. I mean, like, does this equal age of consent mean if you're the same age? Uh, I, I, I think, yeah, I think uh, both um, um, men and women. Uh, well, sorry. <laughs> the, 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 if the age of consent is 16, fucking boys and girls have the same um, age of consent. I, I, I refuse to call a 16-year-old a man or a woman. But they're kids. They're kids. 16 is too young. 
Ah, uh, uh, the recognized law protected under the law does not allow same-sex partnership either. Um, so same-sex marriage. So I guess. Uh, so sexual activity. I guess. Let's let, let's Same let's rewind them. For hundreds of years, let's to see. this day. Never in the history of Vietnam have same-sex legal acts been criminalized in Vietnam. Is that recently, true? Yeah. Wait, is yes. it true that same-sex acts have never been criminalized in Vietnam? I feel like I'm listening to a tin can. Is that true? How do we how do we even do this? Wait, there's an article on this. Well, your headphones got got blasted. You got to get a new pair or open up your fucking speakers. Let's take a look. So this is what happens. They try and find any way they can to like call Luna Oi out and a liar, but she didn't. Same sex couples, uh, same sex acts have never been um, illegal in Vietnam. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people in Vietnam may face legal challenges not experienced by non-LGBT residents. Both male and female same-sex sexual activity are legal and are believed to have never been criminalized. She's reading the same Wikipedia article I did. ...in Vietnamese history. However, same-sex couples and households headed by... It's not so much, um, the teens. Uh, I don't really care about what teens do. I care about, about what adults do. The age of consent is... is... Should be higher to stop um, predatory adults. Has nothing to do with kids doing kid stuff, but like, yeah. You know. Same sex couples are ineligible for the legal protections available to opposite sex couples. No anti discrimination protections exist for LGBT people whatsoever. As of 2015, reports of discrimination against LGBT people are not common. However, with about 20% of people being LGBT people reported being beaten by family members when they came out. Hmm. In 2001, a survey found that 82% of Vietnamese believe that homosexuality is never acceptable. In 2007, Ho Chi Minh City Pedagogical in in University conducted a poll of 300 pupils at three junior highs and high schools and discovered 80% of pupils answered no when asked homosexuality is bad. In tw in Mar oh, none of this is relevant. This is about, like, legal stuff. You're looking up polls. Um, you're trying to find a way to say that the Asian, the Asian girl uh, doesn't know anything about her own country. And, frankly, it's cringe as fuck. March 20, 2004, or sorry, 2014 you just, indicated- You're just racist. These people are just racist at the end of the day, like... You can say- Everything, everything that she's read out about the about the LGBTQ community, you can say about like treatment of LGBTQA plus people in um, in Western countries. Like, it's the same. Um, well, for one thing, the reason, their excuse is that they are, they, they, they are tankies, uh, apparently Luna Oi is a tanky and lies about her country and sees through rose-colored glasses. That's their excuse. They, they just dislike, they see, they see Vietnam as a authoritarian government because they don't exist in the West, um, and see any positive um coverage of these countries as propaganda it, it's 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 sad uh that these people that people like demon mama can like just see stuff like this and just decide to like say oh there must be let's use the spirit whistle okay how do i use it where do i use it how do i use the spirit whistle let me use the spirit whistle. It's down here. Down here. Oh, down here. Down here? Yeah. Most people just mix all Asian countries together. Yeah. It came from inside. Ah! 
Vietnam government is more pro LGBTQ than the countries people. This can be said for most countries, the progressive governments and to LGBTQ is still a problem for a lot of countries. Yeah. The point of the minority protections is that these are minorities that we're talking about. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if there was, like, a lot of people who didn't, who thought awful things about um, the minorities. But yeah, like the the ban on conversion therapy and the the um, coming out and saying that um, LGBTQIA plus people aren't diseased is pretty based by the Vietnamese government. Not gonna lie, and we're talking about the Vietnamese government, not like polls polling data. That thirty three percent of Vietnamese supported same sex sex marriage, whereas fifty three percent were opposed. An online survey ca carried out in December. Yeah, I mean that was pretty similar. That's pretty similar to here in Australia. Like the, the um. Oh. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Okay. Marriage. For random. Um. Australia. Uh, da, 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 da. First postal survey. Um, yeah, we're looking at, uh, 61%. Only 61% said yes. No said th were, uh, 38.4%. Like, I know that there is a difference there, but like, it's, it's, it's still fairly close when you think about it. And this was like, uh, 2017. So like, 2016 found out that 45% of respondents supported the legalization of same sex marriage while 25 opposed it and 35 and 30% answered. I don't know. Um, which actually kind of looks very similar in demographics to Western countries. So. Who's looking through rose colored glasses right now? Transgender people cannot access sex reassignment surgery. Let's call this what it is. It's just racism. Luna Oi is from Vietnam. Therefore, um, uh, we need to impose uh, whiteness upon her communities in order for her to, like, have a uh, happy life. Because uh, Western, Western ideals is uh, what we should be spreading on everyone, apparently. Like... We should be in, we should be spreading imperialism uh, to these countries because they can't think properly for themselves, obviously, because they just lie about stuff like that. That's the rhetoric that this sounds like. They ta attack Luna Oi every time she opens her mouth. It's fucking disgusting. And cannot change lender legal gender after surgery. Hmm. In 2002, government-run media declared homosexuality to be a social evil comparable to prostitution. Ga yeah, what did the what did their health department declare it in 2022? Gambling and legal dr illegal drug use and comp and promised that legislation would be forthcoming to allow the government to combat homosexuality and arrest same-sex. And and did that happen? Did that happen? No, that that that, that didn't happen. Couples. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh what? Uh-oh what? That didn't happen. Like, we read the same- we read the same, uh... Oh my gosh, that- that- that was some weird-ass thing. We- we read the same... We, we're reading the same shit. Yeah. But she 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 read down to public opinion and then stopped re stopped stopped reading. Uh, since 2017, uh, there's the right to oh wait <laughs> right to change legal gender. 2020, 2020, 2020. Honey, you can't even read an entire Wikipedia article. Fucking hell. Um, this is this is cringe. Obviously, like why can why can't we? Why Seriously, why do we have to, like, criticize Luna Oi for, like, something that is, like, something that you can't criticize her for? Why can't we criticize the anti-discrimination laws in employment? Uh, the anti-discrimination laws in, um, uh, against, uh, discrimination in hate speech? Same-sex marriage? Why can't we, like, talk about that stuff and criticize, like, real stuff instead of picking someone to just attack because you don't like the fact that she's Asian? and has a voice. She speaks in English, she's foreign. And that's why I hate it.
Yeah, Asians are plenty of people from Japan and South Korea, dumb people on the internet. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to be in a grumpy mood now. I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, Luna Oi says that yeah, yeah, that's just you're dumb. You you're dumb. Publications such as I don't know how to pronounce this, two state media's spoke of homosexuality as a disease and deviant behavior that is incompatible with the good morals and time honored customs of Vietnam. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, like quite literally, Fox News says exactly the same thing. What are you talking about? Sky News says the same thing. What are you talking about? This is the same problem I have with people who always talk about how... People who are, like, um, soying over, soy-facing over um, Chinese uh, protests right now. It's like they have no memory of the, pro the man anti-mandate protests that we already experienced with people literally calling down, calling for the toppling of the government. Like, it's the same shit. The, the police beat down those protest protesters as well. And treated them like shit. Boo might have uh, COVID, so I'm in a bad mood now. It's still legal to get married in Vietnam. Yeah, it is. That's what we just read that. So I don't think this is very accurate, is it? It's, well, no, it's it's absolutely accurate. The article that you're reading on Wikipedia says that it's accurate, so you're just dumb, I guess? Or maybe, me okay, no, maybe it's not dumb. Maybe it's similar to me how I'm how I'm distracted by possibly Boo having COVID and and I'm angry because I I want to see my Boo and I am missing him. But but remember remember I am the bad leftist for 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 having a joke on my channel. I'm not a, a leftist. Joke? We have a strong what turnout joke? at Riot and significant activism. For Wait a second. Here we go. What joke? What joke is it? What was the joke? What was the joke? Taking Luna Oi out of context to, and become getting getting your clout, Get, getting your clout from um, attacking Luna Oi like every other like um, uh, big big brained leftist uh, streamers out there. Okay. What are the sources on this? Vietnam accused of teaching gay people that being gay is a disease. This is the Guardian. Okay. Next step is saying is using the word works go to scold over and over and believing in cancel culture. Young people in Vietnam continue to be taught at home and at school that same sex attraction. It's anti government. Like, it, it is anti government to a certain. to a certain extent. Like, like. It's. There were anti government here as well. But it's just not like a. Big deal. That's what I mean. Like it's the same. Sh it's the same rhetoric we have here. Like remember how the trucker protests were um, co-opted by uh, Nazis, and the anti-mandate protests here were co-opted by Nazis as well. It, 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 I'm just surprised that China's um, China's taken so long to do that. Honestly. Attraction is a disease and a mental illness that can be cured and treated, despite legislation designed to support and protect LGBTQ rights. Stigma and decriminal. Uh. Okay. So. So. 
So, so like, she's reading an article about this, but currently, like, this is this is very recent. This is August of this year. They made conversion therapy illegal. A- and everything she's reading out right now is currently being taught in America. <laughs> and here in Australia, I've spoken already about the um, Young, Earth, Young Earth creationists um, trying to corrupt my uh, nephews minds with their bullshit and discrimination about sexual orientation and gender identity can contribute to the verbal harassment and bullying of young people i mean i'd love to know the sources on this wait a second here we go in, tw- in 2015, Vietnam made international headlines when it voted to allow individuals who have undergone gender reassignment surgery to register under their new gender. Although the nation was heralded as one of the most progressive in Southeast Asia, Vietnam still has not actually passed the bill required to enforce the law, which means discrimination against LGBTQ plus people largely goes unchecked. Yeah. Just like here in the West. Last year, Vietnam's education ministry produced guidelines for an LGBTQ plus sex education curriculum, but has not yet been implemented. Okay, so they're doing the blizzard method, I guess. Okay. Increase awareness, acceptance, and rights for our community. And we've made a lot of progress, both legally and culturally, in terms of LGBTQ plus acceptance. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it, it does It does sound like they're doing a lot of work. There is still prejudice against LGBTQ plus people his chat is saying, his, his chat is saying I'm a fake trans. That doesn't surprise me. That's the same shit. Remember, that shit happened You're... when I engaged with another one of their friends. And I wasn't even joking with them then. <laughs> So, so, so we paused halfway through uh, her talking about like, yes, there's negative um, things in Vietnam, and, and and I guess I guess Demon Mom is just going to completely miss the fact that Luna Roy is addressing these issues right now. It is far too common Watch. for LGBTQ plus kids to be bullied in school, and of course, I was disappointed that in 2014, when a proposed tell him to come on, to tell him to come on, we'll sort it right now. Yuris McPearl, just tell him to come on, and I'll literally. This is, oh my gosh. Right I hope and trust that as we continue to fight, we will win more rights and change more minds here in Vietnam. Completely, have- completely missed her addressing the things that Damon Mama was criticizing. Completely missed it. Fucking hell. I have to say, over the last 10 years... Pause, if, if you're not going to pay attention to the video, just pause it. Like, I don't know. I don't know, fuck. I think we have gained a lot of... Assembly. I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't really, like, speak for that really I'm, I'm terrible at this as well but still it, it's frustrating it's frustrating for me and made a lot of progress and i believe this progress will continue if you want to learn more about lgbtq plus issues in vietnam check the description for some links but this particular video is not really about the lgbtq plus community and our fight for rights and acceptance here in vietnam it's about how our fight is being used by outside agents to try Good to, to know, destabilize and undermine our society Unfortunately, we in the LGBTQ plus community are being used by the USA State Department, intelligence agencies, and non-government organizations as a weapon against socialism. And three-striped anti-communist agents are trying to co-op our fight. Wait a second. Whoa! Hold on a second. Whoa! We just ch- Oh, wow! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Description for some links. She's talking about pinkwashing. What? Why? Whoa! Why are you so like? Why are you soying over this? But this particular video is not really about the LGBTQ plus community and our fight for rights and acceptance here in Vietnam. It's about how our fight is being used by outside agents to try to destabilize and undermine our society. Unfortunately, LGBT rights are being used by outside agents to undermine communism. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's that's always what's been done. It's called pinkwashing, and like, is one of the reasons, one of the ways that uh, the American government tried to justify um, uh, war with uh, Iraq and uh, with um, Iran, all all of these, or basically any country that isn't Western, like they constantly use women's rights, uh, LGBTQIA plus rights, um, and all of those things to try and um, uh, justify invasion. And all of this. Oh no, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. I don't know who you are. You're just a worker. You're just a worker. 
They're just a worker. You can't see me. Oh no, you can't see me. I'm running away. Notice how that I'm not paying attention. Since I'm distracted from the video, I'm like pausing the video so I don't lose context. And I don't miss something important, like Luna Oi bringing up things. It's just really interesting, because they always c accuse Luna Oi of um, not uh, for not ever addressing the negative parts about their society, but when, like, they just talk over her, <laughs> literally talk over her when she does. That's friggin' hilarious. Psycho Terrorist! Welcome back! Good morning! I'm gonna be like snacks. I'm like always eating snacks. I'm gonna become a fat bitch. Well, hey, hey, Arya and Tanel. Well, All right, let's continue. Holy shit! Constance, give me a minute. I want to finish this video. I want to. I want to finish a video. Hold on, let me finish this video, and then we'll talk. We in the LGBTQ plus community are being used by the USA State Department, intelligence agencies, and non-government organizations. by society. Unfortunately, we in the LGBTQ plus community- We in the LGBTQ plus community are being used by the US State Department, intelligence agencies, and non-government organizations as a weapon against socialism. What? We are yes. being used by the USA State Department, intelligence agencies, and non- That's always how things have worked. This isn't like a controversial thing. Unless you're, uh, of course, like, trust the CIA, because, of course, if you can't trust the CIA, then who can you trust? ...non-government organizations as a weapon against socialism, and three strive anti-communist agents are trying to co-op our fight... ...for increased rights for their own ulterior motives. So, in this video, I am going to take a look at the ways in which foreign and anti-communist agents are attempting to exploit our LGBTQ plus movement to build a color revolution against our socialism government. So, what is color revolution? And is a color revolution really a revolution at all? First, because we are talking about Vietnam, a Marxist-Leninist nation, let's look at revolution from a Marxist-Leninist perspective. We consider a revolution to be the highest form of class struggle, during which the oppressed class rises up and opens how, how- she looks so confused right now to be actually listening to some Marxist theory. ...overthrows oppressive class through regime change, and the oppressed class thus takes power from the oppressive class. We must not mistake this for political protest, activism, or reform. Even within a very healthy and just socialist society- Look at that chat though. This is so conspiracy-brained. Uh, yikes. QAnon level shit right here. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Pinkwashing Palestine and the Middle Eastern Uprisings. Understand, it's Inter International Center for Muslim and Non-Muslim Understanding. Pinkwashing is the attempt by state or people to highlight its treatment of gays to show how progressive it is, in turn covering up human rights violations from which it wishes to attract attention. Uh, it has repeatedly been used by Western powers, for example, as a way to construct themselves as superior or advanced because they support LGBTQIA plus rights, and to construct the other as backwards because they suppo supposedly do not support these rights. A person or institution is engaging in pickwashing when their motives are not to help the LGBTQIA plus people, but rather to further a separate agenda. Now, like... I just bring this up because it's the first thing on the page, but like bas a basic understanding of how these things these things work. Um, so Israel is a big user of this pinkwashing thing. Like every time, every single time. Can you like go away? Sorry, there's a there's a guard right outside my hiding spot, and he's just staying there. Go away, go away, go away. Um. Every time, every single time I criticize Israel, every single time, right? The state of Israel, mind you, 
Um, someone pops in and starts talking about how, like, what, you support Hamas? You support uh, dismemberment of uh, LGBTQA plus people? I'm like, no. That's completely irrelevant. What are you talking about? That's what pinkwashing is, by the way. That's, um... When you use LGBTQIA plus people um, as a cudgel against other nations in order to act as though they don't, they aren't, um, yeah, like I said, that like they're backwards, basically. So yeah, pink washing. It's called pink washing. It's not conspiracy brained. It's an established frickin' term used in academia, no less. Okay. So, yeah. Ugh. Political protests and activism and- Like, they just, like, her chat just literally hates Luna Oi. For being Luna, Luna Oi. Like, you can see, like, it's very, very small on the screen, but, at, um, like, like, people criticizing her, Red Q, Russia, ML, um, ML, people, people talking about ML as if they hate it, Vietnam, a Marxist-Leninist nation, like, yeah, they, 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 they... <sighs> ...reforms are sometimes necessary to gain awareness for a minority Fuck group tankies. and to allow the people free expression for their social problems. So when I go to Bride Parade or make a Facebook post demanding awareness and support for LGBTQ plus people, that mm. does... For those of you confused, tanky, effectively, is, um... A tanky is someone that uh, they don't like. Oh my gosh. How did he see me? <clears throat> That's rude. Yeah, tanky is just someone who disagrees um, with um, a, a, a leftist, or like a center leftist uh, opinion. It doesn't mean I want to overthrow the government. It just means I see this as a very important area that demands attention and change for social progress. Protest is not the same as revolution, because it doesn't aim to change the whole social regime, it just aims to change aspects of the existing social regime. We must also not confuse revolution with political coups. A political coup involves a small group of people using violence to take power over the majority. Usually this is backed by either the military or foreign power. For example, Pinochet seized power by coup with the military and backed by the USA in Chile in 1973. There was also a USA-backed coup against Evo Morales a few years ago in Bolivia. And the USA attempted and failed to stage a coup in Venezuela in 2013. Yep, I remember we covered that. The term that. That. was used to refer to various political movements in Russia and the Balkans in the early 2000s. They included the Orange Revolution in Ukraine, the Rose Revolution in Georgia, the Tulip Revolution in Kyrgyzstan, and so on. Even though such quote-unquote revolutions happened in many different places, in different times and for different reasons, there is one thing in common. They were all backed by the capitalist imperialist West, which is yes. backed by the USA. The purpose of yes. revolutions is to create chaos, to separate and sabotage a sovereign country, and to make it easier for foreign power to intervene and then control. There can be many motivations for staging a color revolution. But in Vietnam, we have had to struggle against USA-backed color revolution attempts, mostly because we are a socialist society trying to build a path towards communism, and this threatens the hegemony of global capitalism. On the outside, these color revolutionists usually claim to care about the people. Bread, bread Santa fans, I've been meaning to... I think, like, she should have called it pinkwashing, because, like, that's the established term. Like, pinkwashing is what, what people actually call it. Um, renaming it Color Revolution serves to sort of, like, confuse people like uh, Demon Mumba who don't seem to understand what it is as a, um, as a concept. I'm going to see if I can pickpocket this guy. Oh, I pickpocket him! Hey, got him! Aha! Sucker. I am such a thief, and I love it. Catch a live stream and Drama Mamas have been my favorite since I started listening to your backlog, so catching a surprise Drama Mama was very interesting. I'm even surprised. I didn't even know. I didn't even fucking know. Yeah, Color Revolution Constance. Constance, that's gotta be your new account. Actually, no. I'm doing it better. Watch this. I'm gonna do you one better. Are you ready? We're gonna make a super meme out of this. Watch this shit. Ready? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready, everybody. Ready for what? 
What? What's going on? Here we go. Have fun. Have fun with this one. Let's continue. People to fight for democracy. Yeah, we're gonna watch the video. We're gonna watch the video, Herulian Hellhound, but I'm just very suspicious of that type of, um, uh, of that type of, uh, uh, rhetoric. Because it's the same shit that people do here when they say that, uh, like, corporations are, are, are actually working. It's, it's literally the same thing that Moppin does. There's no difference. Uh, we'll talk about this. Let's what? watch the whole video, though. I want to give him a fair, a fair shake. Wait, 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 but wait. Wait. She doesn't, she doesn't believe in, in pinkwashing? What? How are you fucking, how are you fucking an online internet commentator and not know this basic shit? Like, yes, corporations use, um... What the fuck is this? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Corporations use uh, leftist causes in order to sell to a like capitalism um, uses uh, leftist causes in order to appeal to markets because um, leftists are a demographic that you can appeal to. So acting as if this is like some sort of crazy conspiracy theory is hilarious. Morphin doesn't use this because he makes shit up. He, dang it, left it. He, he, because it's made up, Morphin uses this because it is true, and he's doing the same thing that uh, pseudoscientific grifters do when they pick something that does exist and then make a um, grift out of it. Like, that's that's what it is. That, that's, that's really what it is. It's just, yeah. Big pocket. Oh, shit. Hey, man. What's up? You're just stealing shit now. He doesn't care. He can't do anything about it. <laughs> Freedom and rights. But what they actually do is sow chaos and division within societies, making target nations more vulnerable to the foreign power which is yes. backing the coup. Usually, it's the common people of the target nation who mm -hmm. suffer the most. If you want more information about this, look at the declassified CIA documents that have been uh, declassified like venezuela all of these things um they use um in, in this documentation uh they do talk about using lgbtqa plus rights and women's rights as a cudgel to uh, uh so dissent in these uh, nations instead of offering support cancelling uh, offering support to lgbtqa plus people in those nations offering asylum to them and creating a proper uh, line of asylum uh, asylum seeking and refugee support within those nations borders um instead you know turning them back but to boat turns turn backs building fucking walls all of this bullshit while at the same time saying oh you know look at them and how awful they treat people and it's just like well i mean do you want to maybe do something to help those people no you want to you want to sanction them and make shit worse poverty breeds Anti-LGBTQA plus hate like nothing else. Poverty is what breeds ignorance. Ignorance is what breeds bigotry. You need to make the lives of people better, everyone's lives better within these countries. And the only way you do that is by not sanctioning them and by offering proper asylum seeking support to the people who need to escape while the country stabilizes. You need to help support the country to stabilize, and the people will want to have democracy. The more, the the less poverty there is, the more the less ignorance you have in a society. Like this is direct direct causal link between these things. Most due to color revolutions, even more than they did before. 
Just look at what has been going on in Chile. Red Pill, DM them to me on Discord. For some very obvious examples. Yeah, and, and also, if you're going to criticize a country for having bad LGBTQA plus treatment, then maybe don't live in a country uh, that um, makes has criminalized uh, playing sports for one person in the state. Like, the most oppression. It, like that, that that is the most minority impression I've ever heard of like one one transgender child uh, spawned a, an actual bill dark tide oh another corpse all right there's a vampire Th there be a vampire <gasps> that's a enforcer oh what's this <gasps> I found the vampire. Found him. Alright, he's coming. Follow him, but staying out of sight. Alright. Alright, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, he's gone past the miner. Lame. Should I pickpocket the miner? I'm gonna do that. So, color revolution is an elegant name for something much darker. In the case of Vietnam, you could actually think of color revolutions uh -oh. that the USA and other Western powers backed against us to be more like color revolutions against our socialist society. Okay. Western powers have a long history now of using the LGBTQ plus cynically for their own gain. In the USA, it's very common for corporations to pinkwash their brands by appealing to us with surface level shows of support that are really little more than niche marketing campaigns. LGBTQ exactly. plus politicians like Pete Buttigieg cynically use their own identities to push neoliberal, imperial and warmongering agendas, as well yeah. as domestic policies, which would financially devastate the LGBTQ plus community in the USA. And now, Western powers mm -hmm. are exporting this exploitation and yeah, because be, because um, like the the neoliberal reforms affect minorities the worst. Like out of everyone, like it affects the, it affects us the worst. Like the people who are hurt most by neo neoliberal reforms are minorities, and uh, usually an intersection of that. So yeah, this isn't like conspiracy brain bullshit. This is like established understanding of uh, Marxist and, and a, Mar a Marxist analysis of power structures with the intersection of class and LGBTQIA plus issues. Like. <sighs> Organization of the LGBTQ plus movement to drive insidious counter revolutions, including here in Vietnam. All around the world, Wait, hold, hold we on. in the LGBTQ plus and weaponization. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And now, Western powers are exporting this exploitation and weaponization of the LGBTQ plus movement to drive insidious counter revolutions, including here in Vietnam. All around the world, we in the LGBTQ plus community have a doubt with homophobia, transphobia, and other forms of bigotry for centuries. And of course, wherever we are in the world, we welcome solidarity and support from our siblings in foreign nations. But what we do not want is to be used as pawns by sprawling empires to destroy our movement against global imperialism. So let's take a look at recent example of counter revolutionary activity here in Vietnam, which is so cynically exploits our LGBTQ plus community. As I said before, it's an unfortunate fact. Vietnam does not recognize same-sex marriage. We almost, almost passed that law in 2014, but nope, we didn't and I strongly disagree with Vietnamese government about this issue. Let me repeat it again. It is unacceptable that we do not yet have legalized gay marriage in Vietnam. Also there you have it. Court in 4K, or whatever K this is. Like, Luna Oi criticizing her own government about their policies. It's the only thing that you could have possibly had against Luna Oi is that she has rose tinted glasses and doesn't um, uh, that doesn't isn't honest about her country. Well, not so. So it's an unfortunate fact that Vietnam recognizes marriages of trans people only if they have changed their gender in the family books. And the procedure for changing gender in the family books has a lot of gray areas. So this is a barrel that is still being fought. And they are various other legal... Okay, but remember, this video was opened with claiming that Vietnam had never discriminated legally against gay people. Come on. No. No, it wasn't. Um, I can understand that... I can understand any arguments that you come to make now based on that preposition, but no, that's not how this, um, this video started. If you all remember, this video started by um, Luna Oi saying that um, same-sex activities were never criminalized. 
have never been criminalized. It's never been a criminal act to like have same sex relation have have same have same sex activity like sex basically. That's what that's what Luna always said from the start. Like she was very clear with her language. You read half of a Wikipedia article. You could have just scrolled to the bottom and there was like a there, there was like a table on that article that you read. Well, that you didn't end up reading. Um, there was an article which 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 lined out with just a simple table um, how it how how it works. <laughs> it's just disappointing that you don't. The problems we face here in Vietnam in the LGBTQ plus community. I say this in no uncertain terms, so please don't comment saying that I'm trying to be an apologist for these policies, because that's not the case at all. Okay. But also, I hope you will recognize that we Vietnamese LGBTQ plus have a voice in Vietnam. We are standing up and fighting for ourselves. And while we welcome your support and solidarity as our LGBTQ plus siblings, we do not need or ask for white saviors, and we do not want imperialist foreign nations undermining our sovereignty for their own selfish reasons. Okay, so now, I hope I can finally talk about the actual topics of this video. An ongoing attempt at color Yeah, she lo like, she was wrong there. She said no gay acts were illegal, but gay marriage is illegal. I would say that gay marriage is a gay act. That is... fucking... Well, no. She didn't say that. Are you back- are you gonna- is she gonna backtrack now? ...in Vietnam, which the West is staging, using LGBTQ plus people for their own ends. In my video, How Do Elections Work in Vietnam, yeah, I talk terrible. about Luong Thay Huy, an independent candidate who ran for national representative in our national assembly. Okay. When I first heard about him and knew that he was a member of LGBTQ plus community, he's gay, I was very happy. I, just like many other Vietnamese people, and especially LGBTQ plus people, were very pleased to see a gay man getting involved with national politics. But then I studied more about him and I found out he was working for ISEE, the Institute for Studies of Society, Economy and Environment. And this institute is funded by USAID. If you're not familiar with USAID, also known as the United States Agency for International Development, it's an agency of the United States federal government that is primarily responsible for administering quote-unquote foreign aid and development assistance. According to Peter Korbler, the director of the Cuba Documentation Project at the National Security Archive, USAID was created in 1961. Wait, wait, okay, okay, hold on a second. So... This guy worked for an organization that received money from a U.S. NGO, and that makes him not worthy. Huh. What? Wait, what? No, she's explaining okay. that right now. To have the United States win the hearts and minds of citizens in poor countries through civic action, economic... I mean, aid, that's the implication. Yeah, she's implying that the gay guy is a U.S. agent. I mean, that's not... She's not saying it directly, but that's the implication. Assistance. As a Cold War policy too, the agency was, at times, used as front for CIA operations. Among the most infamous examples was the Office of Public Safety, a U.S. aid police training program in the Southern Cone. In the 21st century, U.S. aid oh, has traumatized oh, its tainted legacy and undertaken humanitarian oh, 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 wait, 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 I think I know what this is. Wait a second, why <laughs> are U.S. aid... Got a... Yeah, didn't take me fucking long. First phrase of privatization on page six. Okay, okay, three, four, five, six. 
<sighs> yeah. Yeah. So... So the USA, USAID uh, was connected to Pinochet's uh, shock doctrine reforms in Chile. Oh, Demon Mama, come on! Come on! The Chilean government's privatization program is divided into two phases. The first phase covers uh, 1973 through 1982. Uh, and the second phase covers 1985. The, this division is useful because of the objectives of each pe period. Uh, the first big move was, was taken promptly on assuming power. It was the reprivatize the agricultural sector by returning land to the former owners and distributing the balance to farm workers. Demon Mama, you're supposed to be an anarchist. She calls herself an anarchist. What? U.S. Oh, fucking hell, the USA. Like, took it did not take me fucking long. Oh no, Christmas absence of justice. A nation's chances to achieve sustainable development and democracy. Are you fucking kidding me? Which American leaders provide as badly in need of single, well-prepared USG-led agency? Um, El Salvador. So this is so U.S. aid works together with the CIA in order to to like enact shock doctrine reforms in South America. Foot and mouth, foot and mouth. My gosh. An economic work around the world. Okay. It runs democracy promotion efforts from Afghanistan to Kenya, building political leadership capacity, electoral Fucking education hell. and registration programs, and judicial reform projects. With okay, so see now people are popping into chat. Now people are coming in and um and ch and saying, oh yeah yeah, see this is this is how it works. See this is how imperialism works. It un it goes yeah. in and gets in there with the gays. Ah, oh, come on. Y yes. Come on. That's exactly how it works. Oh, fucking hell. If you have such a surface level understanding of politics that you think that um, gay rights can never be used negatively, then you have obviously not watched any of the, like... And then, then you obviously don't realise why Disney put a lesbian kissing scene in Buzz, in the Buzz Lightyear movie. They didn't do it because they were supporting LGBTQA plus people. They were doing it because, A... They might get, they might um, appeal to that audience, and B, they're going to get free adver adver advertising from people raging about it. Look at how many people filled seats for Ghostbusters 2016 after that whole anti feminism slash like fake feminism bullshit went on. It, 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 it works. Like, Twitter works by making things toxic to an extent where people are comfortable and then banning the like the really toxic stuff it's like a fine line of balance there you need to have some angry discourse but you can't have like absolute hate communities because then you scare away advertisers and like <sighs> but yes that's oh, how it works boy. demon mama you're an idiot. Oh boy. Okay, let's look at these things in a bit. Let's continue. Data controversy. It is when US aid undertakes discrete regime change operations that it runs into trouble. Indeed, its Office of Transition Initiatives now seems to be competing with, or at least complementing the CIA on high tech propaganda and destabilization programs in Cuba, if not elsewhere as well. Since this article was written, U.S. aid has admitted to pushing for regime change in Venezuela. You yeah, you think you're a leftist? Did you get a Did you get a coronavirus check? Checkmate! You've been paid by the U.S. government. Paid shill for the U.S. government. U.S. aid has embedded aid workers with military and intelligence agencies and trained U.S. aid employees in CIA style. Well, Herulian Hellhound, the, this is it's not a it's not just a very again again like stop continuing the video while you're arguing with your chat. She's bringing up the proof right now. She's pulling up receipts. This is the important shit that you need to listen to. What the fuck? Very nuanced point. I'd think that this is on purpose if it wasn't obviously just 
idiocy. Made. This is an ex- this is an extensive claim. The claim of the video is pinkwashed color revolution, and th- they opened by saying that the LGBTQ movements have been hijacked by the CIA. Like that's yeah. a pretty major claim, and so far this has no- is like I would say that's a dangerous claim. But she's showing you the proof right now. USAID has admitted to all of this stuff. Like, they have worked with the Pinochet government in order to do the shock doctrine reforms, of which, if you know anything about Chile and Pinochet, they were trained by the CIA in torture techniques. The uh, USAID was one of the major... Like, organ- or, uh, government agencies that um, worked with uh, Pinochet in order to uh, do these things. And they would have obviously worked together with the CIA in order to come to those terms. Because obviously, for shock doctrine reforms, you require torturing. Read, read the shock doctrine. Read read the read um, how that went on. Like... There's a well-documented history of all of these organizations. You you just don't know these things because for some reason, like, Shock Doctrine, the book, goes over these things. And I would have thought that that would have been, like, pretty essential reading for, like, the most basic leftist, right? Like, it's not that I expect people to read everything, but, like, I am pretty basic with books, and even I have been reading The Shock Doctrine, haven't gone through it all yet, but, like, this is pretty obvious stuff. So far, wait, not knowing how reactionary USAID is, I know how reactionary U- USAID is, I'm not fucking defending USAID, I'm just saying that you're making a big claim by saying that the LGBTQ movements in Vietnam- Yeah, but we have the receipts to back it up, like, she, she's, she lit- while you were distracted, she literally said, it shows an article talking about how USAID um, admitted to uh, ha- embedding aid workers. And you're the one who brought up CIA, by the way. She didn't, didn't say anything about that. She was saying that the U- US government uses USAID to infiltrate governments and create destability de- 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 in order to uh, try and topple governments. Like, what the fuck? If you can't, tr- if you can't trust the, the, the CIA, who can you trust? Um, ...are funded and run by the CIA, a very dangerous conspiratorial claim, and this is not backing it up well. ...by regime change tactics. USAID calls these agents super enablers who can better serve US national security efforts. So, as you can see, USAID is not what it claims to be at all. Just like many Western imperialists- Yeah, but see, states do this- Okay, we are going to pause because I'm- because I do need to go to the ladies' room. Um, JFK wanted to abolish the CIA shortly before he was assassinated. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean... yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that that was true, um, actually. My CIA ha- handler just told me that uh, that's definitely not true. And also Luna Oi bad. Uh, and, and, uh... Cool. Check, check. Did not bounce. Check did not bounce. Also, welcome, gender is binary. <laughs> Interesting name. Possible ban of I- Vader. Interesting. Monitoring. Suspicious user. Oh, hello. That's right. Well, I'm keeping an eye on you, but until uh, I come back, uh, don't go anywhere or do either way. I will be right back. Don't click on any links this person has. I don't know if I can do that. Damn it, I want to go to the toilet. Why do you have to jump in right before I go to the toilet? And I can't pay attention. I don't want to report or ma- manage. Ew. What does restrict mean? Oh, I don't know. Screw it. I don't, want to, I don't want to, like, do anything unless, um, like, there are problems. Alright, anyway. Don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, though. I will be right back after this break. <sighs>
No more back. Back in black. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Why do I have sand? It's all the time. I bet Vietnam... No, I don't have sand. Why do I... Ah. Uh... Why? Why do you do this? I need new headphones. It's funny, like, yesterday, like, I got the most, like, obvious troll ever. This guy's like, hey, watch this video, it's really funny! And I don't think I'm gonna, like, put it on a separate screen and listen to it on and watch it on mute before I play it. And realize it's that stupid, um, like, uh, the guy jerking off video again. Um... <sighs> With a fight with like a like a ten minute old account. It's like it's really funny. Trust me, trust me, bro. I'm like, I ain't your bro, guy. I'm not, I'm not your guy, buddy. And I'm not your buddy, pal. Shut your fucking face, I go fucker. Why? Yeah. I think maybe like a new battery would fix it, but um, yeah. Oh well. Give me a sec. <sighs> Got my backups. All right, where are we? It's too hot in here. Uh, pardon me. For a second there, I just completely forgot how to use my computer. Sorry. Go away. Go away. And now I've got sound. I believe? Tom does this all the time. Yes, I got sound. Kill. All right, let's get back to it. Um, before we move back towards that, I just need to figure out how. Um, this works. Because I got warfare fitness and craft so i just want to look at this stuff increase your gold gained by 20 percent per stage that reduces the radius you can be detected while sneaking by one meter per stage that sounds amazing what that's cray cray what's this one <gasps> Spend 10 to unlock. And I have 5 available. Wait. How does it... Wait, what does that do? I'm so confused as to what any of this means. What does Warfare do? I've got 4 champion points into Warfare. But how do I know what, what's what? Star... Staving Death... Oh my gosh, there's, there is... They've added so much to this game that I didn't know about before.
Our control immunity. Okay. Rejuvenated, unchained, slippery. I can be slippery. But how do I get the points though? It says I'm level. I have like champion points, but like it's not telling me what how these things work. Do they get split evenly or something? Oh, I see. So it does it like each level you get one of each, I guess. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So movement speed, ooh, repairing. Cost of sneak. Increases your chances of catching higher quality fish. Oh, what's going on? Okay. Homemaker. Double yield. Double the yield from new, new, from stuff. Wall mount. Removing all mount stamina costs outside of combat. That sounds amazing. But how do I, how, how, is there any way to like, um, change these? Mm -hmm. Increases the amount of gold you find. That's interesting. Increases the value of fenced items. The out of sight thing sounds cool. Oh wait, I have to spend 10 into it to unlock the whole thing. Ah, okay. That's really interesting. International Day of Solidarity with the People of Palestine. Oh, that's cool! Hmm. Um. So this is the battle of the, the fighter one warfare. So it's endless endurance. Oh, well. Oh, gosh. There's more stuff. Wait, why can't I do that? <laughs> Critical Chad sounds pretty cool. And so I guess there might be extra stuff in amongst here, maybe? No, there isn't.
Full damage. Gilded fingers. Yeah, how does this work? Sorry, sorry to to derail the stream a little bit, but I do really want to learn how this works. But how do you change it? Champion point reset? Oh, 3,000. Oh, that's cool. It's only 3,000 uh, gold to do that. Yeah. Easy. Cool. Ah. Walking Fortress Wind Chaser. Hasty. Oh, hey, I can run faster. Ah, pardon me. Mastered curation. Healing. 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 Meh. What's that? Critical resistance. Damage reduction. Healing. And I guess this is the attacking. Yeah. I like the idea of, uh, that. But yeah, I need more points before I can do that. Alright. Time. I bet Vietnam has, like, department, the Department of Human Well-Being, which actually has, like, spies working for it or something. Fucking every state on the planet does this. They name their shit, like, lofty, uh, lofty go Yeah, every state on the planet does this. However, the American state is the one that does the most damage and has done the most damage in the past. Uh, I'm not gonna pay it. Fuck you. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm out of here. Alright. Goals, like they'll name it like the, the the agency for protecting children, and then it'll be like, oh, they actually go and like kidnap children, but they're protecting them. You see, like yeah, Department of Love. The, it doesn't matter. States do this all the time. It's not just the U.S. Every single fucking state does this. In fact, we know for a fact that that Vietnam does this because they name their shit like they're they have they have a philosophy like of Ho Chi Minh thought that is st a state endorsed philosophy. Okay. Well, no, I'm not saying that's an argument against your position. I'm just saying that like like being just saying that like oh this isn't what they actually do doesn't really mean anything every state does that it's ngos which claim to be concerned what the fuck you, you we're talking about things like the pinochet um fucking pinochet regime regime 
We're talking about, like, shit that caused, like, mass deaths in other countries. It's just not the same. It is not the same to compare, like, whatever Vietnamese spy agency that exists with the...